Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 100% Orange Juice. We're gonna be trying to fill up our star meter here a little bit more this time, so let's just try to get into a game. Real Moe Face. First one I found. And uh, well, we're obviously gonna pick Mary Boy if you uh, let me join. <laughs> Ask Cakes, hello. Hello. Uh. Uh, they can join mid game. PJ Salt. Oh, we have PJ Salt. Uh, PJ Salt that Twitch uh, emoticon. Assuming they want to join. <laughs> Forever joining. That's a shame. Take a while, folks. There you go. Hmm. Oh, then then he left. Well, we do have this one spectator here. May or may not want to join. We have an Andrew, level one, zero wins. Always welcome the new players. They may not play very optimally, but uh, we gotta get their experience somewhere, right? And uh, maybe we're not actually gonna get like a four Mary Popo game because there's new people here. Uh, I like the icy Mary Popo, the icy blue color. Finally, we can build Mary Popo the way we want to build Mary Popo. So, we're gonna put, put in these three stiff crystals because I, I want to hoard. I want to hoard the ubiquitous cards as much as possible. So, Princess's Privilege, nice present, nice jingle, holy knight, three puddings. Yeah. Uh, that's usually how I play Mary Popo. Sick crystal, debatable. Might want to put in like Usa bits instead or. Or the, sh or the shield card, but I'm putting in Step Crystal because I really don't want to lose my ubiquitous card through some dumb means like a like a bad pudding or such. So we're just gonna wait until the other three players are finished picking their characters and building their decks. Hopefully, not won't take too long. But uh, that PJ Salt guy uh, pretty much took like a minute to try to join and then not join. Oh, this this no this no name character is gonna play as the chicken. Perhaps they random the chicken, or maybe they just want to play as the chicken. And unfortunately, we're gonna play on practice field again. Again? Well, actually, I did. I played like one game before this one, but I'm not gonna upload that video because of uh, uh, audio sync issues. Hopefully, it won't happen this time. You didn't miss much though. Uh, we didn't actually use ubiquitous, so. Uh, what I found out was, uh, you can't fill up the star meter unless you actually use the, your hyper card. Our hyper card as much as possible. Um, already we're seeing flamethrower traps being placed down. Angie warps behind us. Don't really want to get into combat right off the bat, but, uh, doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Nice jingle is best saved. Uh, when you're level 3 or higher because of then, then your uh, bonus multiplier caps up uh, at level 3. Otherwise, you'd only be getting a uh, 2 times your roll at level 1, or 2 times 2 times your roll at level 2. Uh, flip out is free, so I'm gonna just use it. And, uh, I wanna distance ourselves from Super so we're gonna take this alternate path. So our matchup this time is Andrew as Kai, Ass Cakes as Suguri. I'm, I'm gonna call it Suguri because I don't feel like saying the word Ass Cakes every time. So Andrew is Kai, and we have Suguri, and we have this no name as a chicken. So really, I'm only gonna be calling Andrew Kai. I mean, I'm only gonna be calling Kai Andrew. Moving on up. In chicken we trust. I'm just gonna keep trying to go for the uh, draws, and I probably should have put in a reverse attribute field in there, but uh, I 
forgot. Or maybe I didn't have much space, so... Uh, I value the stiff crystals more. So, we don't want to hoard our ubiquitous for too long, but... We don't want to use it too early either, because then we won't, won't be getting much star star benefit. And I would assume that uh, the more stars you steal with Ubiquitous, the higher that star meter flows up. So we'll just get into some combat here with this Robo Ball. Also known as the Sentinel, which I usually call it. Nothing really happened there. We both evaded the attack. Andrew's gonna go on the green lollipop, but uh, it's halfway from level 2 Norma, so not gonna be able to level up. Suguri with 14 stars and at level 2, so she's in the lead. Chicken using that Holy Knight that I probably put in. Probably I was the only one that put it in, maybe the chicken did as well. We'll see. Now we were presented with a choice. I guess we'll fight Suguri. Uh, just because I want to go for the card draw. If you evade, you can't... Yeah, you can't not evade it. Defend this and take 4 damage. It was worth for the ubiquitous draw. It really was. And our hand is pretty good. Uh, I would really like a stiff crystal though, so I can pop that, but can't really use it until level 2 anyway. So I assume Andrew's gonna fight me. No? Well, you are a new player, but uh... If I were the kind of situation, I would fight the... I would fight the Mary Popo. Just since... I, I already lost 4 health from that Sugri encounter. And with your plus 1 attack, there's a high chance you could've KO'd me. Get that 2 wins right from the get-go. Securing uh, two, 2 Normas. So Sugri is gonna fight the Sentinel, and uh, perhaps I did do 1 damage to the Sentinel. Uh, I don't really remember. Well, the Sentinel's now at 1 health, so... We'll probably evade it. We'll probably evade our attack if we try to fight, because, uh, we have the negative 1 attack. Same goes for the chicken. Uh, we're gonna go for the level up here. I'm gonna go for that, uh, 30 star normal. So Kai is gonna warp to the south. Puts him behind the chicken, which is good if you decide to fight the chicken, which you really should be doing. If anyone picks, like, the joke character, you should really be picking on them. Not because you're mean, but because, uh, it's... it's optimal. Since the joke characters are just, like, Pete with hinder combat stats and no hyper card. So the chicken's gonna fight the, uh, sentinel here. And it's really a wasted roll on the chicken's part. I'd rather have that like five on like fighting someone else rather than wasting on a robo ball. But probability's independent, so what am I talking about anyway? It's too bad the game speed is uh, a bit slow for my liking, but uh, we can't always be four speed. A lot of people prefer two or three speed. I'm just used to four speed from all my like, Tomomo hell attempts. Oh, that chicken counterattack? Uh, unfortunately that wasn't enough to dent Suguri. Suguri's gonna attack the Seagull now. With that, uh, full roll. Deal 6 damage. Seagull didn't stand a chance. Chicken's gonna roll that 1, being able to level up. Uh, but I think, uh, Suguri will fight the chicken next turn and then level up that way as well. Uh... We're one star short, but we're still gonna go on the way I pop because I want to do the healing. And this... Granted, this isn't very, uh... High-level game in terms of, uh... My opposing players. Mainly because one of them is a chicken, but more so because, uh... I believe Andrew is a new player. Not really, uh... Trying to insult the new players, but, uh... They really need a few games under their belt before they understand, like, the more intricate mechanics of the game. Or maybe it's just his first time playing multiplayer. Well, who am I to judge? 
assuming he's gonna fight Angela here now. Uh, not the best idea, because uh, if uh, Andrew survives this, then the counterattack would be pretty uh, lethal. Assuming it's a high roll like that, like so. But uh, you rolled a 5 on Evade, so it's all good. And the Sugi is gonna fight our Chicken Man. The chicken also evades. And retaliates with an attack value of 1. So, and since uh, Sugi did go for the wind norm, uh, she won't be able to level up. See the chicken using that dash carp to most likely create distance between uh, these two here. Not a bad idea. So, hmm. I think we'll go with the long path. Get some more stars. I don't really fear the chicken at all. Green chat bubble. Someone's saying something. Perhaps it's a spectator. Mirror match. Uh, maybe. Oh, the chicken versus chicken from earlier. That's probably what he meant. Most cases, the, the human-controlled chicken would probably win. But again, since this is a game, all the dice rolls can't really say much. So, Sugri is gonna fight Kai here. Smart idea, now that Kai only has two health in the left. So, half your rolls will be able to KO him. Yeah, that perfect two damage puts you at three wins now, so... If you KO the Sentinel too, you'll be at four wins, but Sentinel's the hardest one to KO out of the critters. So, I'd be content with the three wins, and then switch over to the Star Norma. Going for 5 wins is, is a risky gambit. Uh, go for the card draw. Don't mind taking my time. Rainbow colored circle. Better than flamethrower. Uh, the, only, the only good thing about keeping the flamethrower is that it can't be used against us, but I'd rather have the rainbow colored circle. So the spectator goes away. Most likely wanted to join a game, but it was full. Happens. I do it all the time. Sugri's gonna roll that too, land on the bonus panel. So now she has above 70 stars, so most likely we'll go for the star norma after reaching level 3, which should be in a turn or two. Chicken warps here. I have no beef with the chicken. I'm rolling that double ones. I'm fine with that. I didn't lose that many stars. We lost two stars from uh, the draw panel. And it also makes us stay behind the chicken, which is not a big deal, but a chicken it does have that plus one evasion, so after enough fights, uh, if we don't roll high enough, then the chicken will probably uh, KO us. Uh, I am gonna fight the chicken here, though, because I want to level up. Go for the defend. Yeah, take one damage. Uh, I'll go for the defend and take one damage, and then we'll heal that one up. And go for the 70 more stars next. I want, I want, I want uh, Suri to get level 4 so then I can use Ubiquitous. I'm surprised Andrew isn't going on the, on the aggressive. Um, but uh, again, new players don't have the mentality of uh, veterans, to say the least. They're just, they're just here to play the game, learn the game. Nothing wrong with that. Always welcome new players, uh, because perhaps I can teach them a thing or two. Uh, uh, if I don't roll high enough on this bonus panel, I'll pass my s lollipop, so I'm gonna take this detour. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen, so I went the other- the long path, so that it'll take me at least one more turn to reach my lollipop, unless I roll a uh, six. So that's a one in six chance. But again, this game really likes to fuck with me, so... <laughs> I won't be surprised if I did roll the six here.
I would just go on the lower. Oh, I see. Uh, Sugi actually went for the five wins, Norma. Hmm. I wouldn't say that's troublesome, but I will. Uh, I really want to use ubiquitous, but I don't want to use it in this particular position. I'm just gonna go for these stars. We do have a reverse attribute field, so uh, we could pick a fight with uh, Suguri and survive. But I would much rather save that for next turn when we reach our lollipop. So it might be better to use the Rainbow Colored Circle, but if Suguri rolls high enough, then the Rainbow Colored Circle just makes our defense even worse, so I would just not use anything at all this turn. I'd much rather save the Reverse Attribute field for when Suguri uses an Accelerator card. And that's a rather weak hit. We'll just take the one damage here. Counter-attack for nothing, probably. You know, Suguri wants to pick a fight with me because uh, that'll give her Norma. So what I'm planning to do is uh, uh, hopefully level up this turn and next turn use Ubiquitous to run away from Suguri. How about we roll the one, so ain't happening. Might as well get rid of the Rainbow Colored Circle. Not too big of a deal if uh, we get killed by Suguri. And just use Ubiquitous to uh, negate the stars she takes from us. I might actually have to use the Reverse Attribute Field this turn though. We'll see what Suguri's play is. I'm assuming you don't have the Accelerator card because I would have used it last turn if I did. fight again. I don't blame you. And I'm kind of glad I didn't use the reverse attribute field here either. And we actually KO'd Suguri in return. That's, that was just rather unfortunate of her. Uh, might as well pop this nice jingle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you're gonna pick a fight with Mary Popo, you better ex you, be you better be expecting a fight, cause Mary Popo always wins. Although I am kind of genuinely sorry. Uh, would have been more ideal if you had uh, the accelerator card, but if you did use the accelerator card, I would have just countered you with reverse attribute field. I don't think that would have helped though, because yeah, that probably wouldn't have helped because then mostly your role is determinant on uh, determinant on. What am I trying to say? Yeah, the thing you roll rather than your core stats. So reverse attribute field isn't that good against extraordinary specs or accelerator. It's a lot better on like say Blue Crow the second though. Blue Crow the second modifies your combat stats, whereas the other two just modifies your dice roll. <laughs> sad Sug is sad. She got beaten by Scrub Kitty. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really think Mary Pope was a cat. I would love to do the Mary Pope cheese here, but Sugri isn't level four, so I really can't do that. The chicken's gonna use uh, that rainbow colored circle to hopefully evade the boss's attack, and it looks like it's gonna work. What's next? Roll a three, so I was just paid to not like, die to the boss. So. That was a repeat of my battle. Hmm. I, I think minimum two turns before we have the potential to win. I say that as in, uh, Chicken gets this level by rolling a 1 here, and then we get some bonus stars. Looks like it's not gonna happen though, so... Well, if Chicken miraculously rolls a 1, and then survives that combat fight, then, uh, we could win like that. Uh, but I'm, at this point I'm just gonna go for that, uh, heal on the lollipop. What's up, Andrew? What are you thinking about? Uh, 
Yeah, go on the lollipop, which that level 4 Norma. We're at 157. Still need like a bonus panel before you can usually break this for the win. So I think if we use Ubiquitous here and steal some stars, then we'd be one game short of filling that meter to full. Is what I would presume. Since we'd only be getting like 30 or 40 stars. I'm assuming like the other bar is like 100 stars or maybe 150. I don't know. Unfortunately, uh, fortunate for us, but unfortunately for our chicken man, he's gonna fight the boss. I actually goes for the evade. I, I would have like went for the. I would have went for the defense. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for this. Unfortunately, uh, I forgot about the nice jingle, so I might have been better to go for the uh, the long path because now we're gonna have to pass by our lollipop one more time. Yeah, really not thinking. It's not too big of a deal. As long as we don't roll a 1, it's not too big of a deal. Even if we do roll a 1, that's where our reverse attribute field comes into play. Essentially, reverse attribute field is our get out of jail free card. Uh, although it will cost us, I think it's 10 stars. Yeah, 10 stars. This is also a nice feature added recently. <laughs> All that exchange being uh, landed on. Really hurts. So we rolled a six. So we're not gonna use this lollipop. We're gonna use this lollipop. And, uh, we're one star short. Uh, there's no way Kai would pass their own lollipop, so I can't rely on that to just keep my distance. I'm, I still plan to use Ubiquitous. Because even if we uh even if we lose this game by some miraculous means, then I would prefer to have cashed in with Ubiquitous. So our best target is Anju because they are level four, so we'll steal 40 stars. And so it's not really a vendetta against the uh, the new player, and that's really unfortunate that uh Siri got KO'd that like that. <laughs> God damn it! I know that feel, but I think the boss is gonna do you some justice. Gotta evade if you want to survive that. Nice try. Go for the uh, bonus. So, I believe Kai will stop by our lollipop. Karma. Although actually going to our lollipop is a really good move because uh, it, it prevents uh, us from using the ubiquitous to uh, win the game. So perhaps Andrew isn't a new player after all. Perhaps you played a lot of uh, campaign or single player and are testing your skills out in multiplayer now. Land on the drop with a six, but it's not too big of a deal. He's gonna roll that five. So, so in the end, though, probably will have to steal from Sukri with the chicken. So we're stealing ten less stars for our star meter, but it's better than stealing nothing. Because if we steal, if we stole from Andrew, then uh, he'd be being put in the peculiar position. So what are you thinking about ass kicks? I know I've been calling you Sukri all game, but might as well say your name one last time. So it here and there goes down. I don't like that, but we do go before uh, we do go before uh, Kai here, so it, I guess it's okay. So I want I want Andrew to I want Andrew here to level up. Yeah, that'll be, that'll do. So now you're level five, and I can use Ubiquitous to its full potential. And then I don't really care if I lose the game afterwards. I'll be really salty if someone has like a gift exchange right here. Are you gonna fight? 
Kai? That might ruin my plan, too. If Kai gets KO'd here, and he can't steal from him. Yeah, that, it looks like that's gonna happen. Oh, that... Oh, that's unfortunate that, uh... Uh, that I'm on fire card actually cost you the game. Well, at least it cost you, like, the losing of that combat. Uh, here I went for the alternate path because, again, my goal is to use Ubiquitous, not to win the game. You might want to fight me. Why no finish? Uh... I'm... doing the... Murray... Popo event thing. Yeah, normally I would have finished the game, but because I'm doing the, the Mary Popo event thing, uh, use Mary Popo's hyper card to gain to gain star meter. Uh. And then when that bar is full, you get something. I don't know what it is, but like, yeah, I'm being completely honest. So, in the end, I don't really care about winning. I'd rather have someone else win. I don't care about winning. Please try to KO me. Like the new players, uh, I'd rather have the new players try to uh, get their star bonuses. I'm here for like the, I'm here for the, I'm here for the Ubiquitous. Actually, hoping to roll one. Uh, we might be disrespectful to uh, not win. Who knows? I gave you a chance. Uh, I, was, I was hoping you had like something like a fake Magnum, but maybe you don't have that card in the deck. God damn it! Uh, maybe I should win to prevent any more losses in terms of stars. I'm giving them a chance to win because I feel really bad about using that ubiquitous card. Uh, I'm just here to steal stars. Yeah, you, you warp right there. That's the perfect position to KO me with. So, KO me on the next turn and then I'll let you win, Andrew. We could. I stole the stars. That's the only thing that matters. At least I am hoping that if I steal the stars, that's the only thing that matters. If I lose those set stars, then I'm hoping I don't lose the star meter game. I can be a nice guy once in a while. I mean, Andrew needs the levels. I don't really need the levels. I mean, I would like to get to level 50, but I'd rather give it to a new player. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. I'm hoping I survive this. Aww. Go for the boss.
boss has like a huge bounty, but if I get the boss bounty, then I'm going for the game. Oh yeah, baby. Well, Accelerator is not the best card to play. Especially when you roll something like that. Well, that's rather unfortunate. Would have been a lot better if uh, you waited for the chicken here to revive so you could have a chance to use the chicken to kill the boss. We still at 160 stars though. Super all out mode. You know what's up. Go for that boss. A juicy, juicy boss. Yeah, although I might just go for the boss myself at this point. Uh, so Sugri's gonna fight the chicken. My bet's on Sugri. That's an easy boss kill if I've ever seen one. Oh, delicious star gain. And now my goal is just to steal from that. I'm the Sugi Knot. I'm sorry this video is going on a bit longer than, uh... I was anticipating. Uh, wouldn't have been if I just decided to win there. But uh, again, I feel really bad about uh, using that ubiquitous. Hmm. Uh, I'll go for the warp. Suguri, come, come, come get your reward. Come fight me and get your reward. Hope you have another accelerator card. Mm, that's a shame. Well, gotta fight me anyway. Oh, you're just gonna go for the, go for the win. That's perfectly fine too. However, however, killed the boss deserves to win this game essentially. Oh, I was hoping to draw one more ubiquitous before the game will end, but oh. Well. So. If Suguri rolls a 4 or higher, she'll win this turn. Uh, but she rolls a 2, so... Uh, it's gonna take her one more turn. Go for the gold, chicken! If you wanna win, you gotta go through me first. What will you do? Defend is a guarantee to survive. But you went for the evade, how risky. I'll just defend this too. And we do draw your big this, but uh, unless they roll a 1 next turn, uh, I won't be able to use it. Share my charity. Oh, you can't not win. That's a shame. Oh well. I I got what I came here for. That's the important part. At least I hope. Well, I'll just I'll just quickly check if that's enough though. Uh, goodbye, Andrew. Uh, ass cakes and no name. Let's just see if this meter will fill up now. Oh wow. Oh, uh, so we get swag popo from that. That's pretty nice. Uh, oh man, so much swag. Well, I think I'll play a game with swag popo uh, in the next episode. But until then, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you again.